Welcome to Culiacan, Mexico's drugs capital. Drugs mean guns, and there's just been a shooting here. As many as 120,000 people have died in six years of the war on drugs. That term isn't used by the new government. It's the wrong image for Mexico. The body count has fallen, but not by much. Often the violence is one cartel against another, or just as likely, it's violence between different factions of the same cartel. What seems to have happened here tonight is a shootout between a local policeman and a gangster of some kind. Regardless, a shooting isn't exactly an unusual event here. Fallen gangsters are remembered here. With so much money at stake, life counts for little. The shrine's dedicated to the so-called bandit saint, Jesus Malverde. He was killed a century ago. The drugs business has thrived in Sinaloa that long. Crime has deep roots here. Sinaloa has Mexico's oldest and richest cartel. Hector is a long-standing member. A code of silence governs this secret world, but he agreed to give us a rare interview. He misses the old days of smuggling marijuana. A new drug, crystal meth, is lucrative, but soaked in blood. When the crystal meth boom started, the war started, the jealousy started, he says. The cartels recruit people who've never seen a Kalashnikov. They give them drugs. That makes them crazy. The new generation is sick. The ones who kill the ones who send them to kill. You could drive right past a safe house for cartel gunmen and not know it. We were told there are more than a hundred in Culiacan. They're known as sicarios or blades, hitmen who kill for the cartel. They wear masks for the camera, but they wait like this to go to war at a moment's notice. No wonder some talk of a narco-insurgency. Rafael, aged 18. He joined the Sicarios at 14, committed his first murder at 15. He felt nothing, he says, just adrenaline. It can be anyone, says the boss, about their targets. A traitor, a snitch, a thief, someone who hasn't paid the cartel. They aren't worried the police will burst in. They work with the police, they say. Sinaloa's police chief denies that. Comandante Aguilar was himself accused of working for the cartel. There was even a five million peso reward for his arrest. The warrant was eventually withdrawn. Now he's back in charge. We're not in bed with the cartel, he says. That is a myth. We don't back one cartel over another. We arrest all the criminals. People in Sinaloa don't believe that. They don't speak publicly about it either. The mothers of the disappeared. They accuse the police of failing to investigate their cases because of links to criminal groups. Worse, Maria says her son was arrested by the police and handed to kidnappers. Just tell me where my son is, she remembers asking the police. She never saw him again. Many police officers have died fighting the cartels. But the traffickers have co-opted parts of the state. You never know who you're dealing with. For Mexicans, that's another reason the drugs war is so dangerous. Paul Wood, BBC News, Sinaloa.